Hi everybody, welcome back. I am Melissa and today I have a video with a bag to share for you. Imagine that. Now I've been kind of cleaning up my bag status here. Um, I have just been keeping the ones that I ultra super love. I have been lemonaded in this past week and a half, probably 10 bags. Yes, I did. I eliminated like 10 bags. I'm going to tell you, um, coach, I have been eliminating some coach. I still love coach and I'm keeping some coach, but I don't need as much coach. I am so falling head over heels for some other brands that it's, um, was kind of holding me up, taking space and I could turn them and recreate, reincarnate them into some other bags that I really, really want. So right now I am down to a total of only six coach bags in my entire collection. Six. And those are my top six coach ones that I love that I plan on keeping. So I kept those and I have rehomed, let's say rehomed the other ones which have um, turned into a few other bags that I'm collecting. So I am getting lean and mean in my collection and not going to collect just to collect. Yes, it is a collection. and Yes, it is a hobby, but it's got to be something that I love and something that I reach for and doesn't just look pretty sitting on the shelf. I have to really want it and I want to enjoy it. So yes, I have slimmed down to six coach bags in total. No more. And then, of course, I have all my other brands that I have. But um, this bag that I have right here that I have to share with you guys because it's killing me. I ordered three bags from Aspinall of London. And the first one hasn't shown up. And the second one hasn't shown up. But the third one showed up. And this is one I wasn't expecting for a little while, but the other had a little custom issue, which has now been released and I should get it on Monday. Yes, 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 yes. So I'm so excited. But the other two that I have, I'm saving to do a, um, a collab video. And I'm going to be having the collab video with the beautiful Maria Louise Loves Luxury and Don Loves Couture. That's going to be coming out next week can't wait for that with these new bags yes of course it's going to be Aspinall of London collab um but this third one I have got to share with you guys because it's killing me it's just killing me she is so so beautiful um when I got the box from DHL yesterday which I was thinking was probably the first one or the second one so I pulled out this beautiful blue bag usually it's the white thick one but right now it's turned into um this i mean this is really nice too but it's blue and it has the aspinall of london right there um but when i peeked in and saw the top of it and i saw the color take a look take a look i knew which bag it was and the smell i'm a bag sniffer i'm the worst kind of bag sniffer i love the smell of a new bag in beautiful leather and I'm seeing her right now. And I'm telling you, yesterday, when I pulled this bag out of this dust bag, I had a tear in my eye. My eyes were watery. She was more than I could have ever, ever thought. I mean, this bag made me emotional. This bag hit me right here. And I love it so much. And I ran to my husband and said, husband, look, look what I have. And he loved it too. So now I'm going to share it with you guys. Oh my goodness. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? <gasps> okay, here she goes. Look at this bag. Oh my gosh. I am, I am just in awe of this bag. This is the Midi Mayfair from Aspinall of London. And it is in the color Cherry Ombre. So you can see it's darker here and then it fades into this... Um, lighter cherry and then it goes darker again with these top handles and that's where you attach the cross body look at this just look at this i know if you're getting emotional and you need a moment it's okay you can pause the video and get a kleenex to dab your eyes because i totally understand with this bag like i told you i was emotional when i opened this bag how many times does that happen? And I'm not hormonal. 
because I have no, you know, plumbing. So it can't be that. No, it is just a darn gorgeous, beautiful bag. Here's the side. And here is the bottom. I still have the tape on the feet because there, there is tape. And on the back, there is a slip pocket right here. And it is stamped with the Aspinall of London stamp. Now this bag, the first time I saw this bag was with Maria Louise Loves Luxury. She has a black one and it is gorgeous. And then I saw the same exact bag in this color with um, Minx for All. She showed this bag. She also has it in a, a cream croc that is beautiful too. I am in such love with this bag. If I could get another one, and it, uh, right now they have it uh, $200 off these um, if you order like soon, but uh, I couldn't, I could not pass this up. I could not. Look at this beautiful lock that's right here. All you do is you push this middle, I'm going to do it backwards, but you push this down and then it pulls up just like that. And it has this beautiful Croco um, leather that looks just the same as the outside on the inside. It has this blue, look at this blue interior with a center zip compartment and a shoulder crossbody strap. Now this strap is in that beautiful champagne gold that they have. But I gotta show you this, this strap also has the braiding inside with the ombre cherry color all the way through it. And look at these lobster claws right here to attach to the bag. I am just, I'm going to hook it on the bag here. I am just so in awe over this bag. There hasn't been too many bags that have like made me like emotional like that. I would say my very first Louis Vuitton made me emotional because it was like a, you know, a dream come true. It was something that I had wanted for so long. So yeah, I think my Louis might have gave me a, a, a tinge of that. But this one here, oh, I just, I can't get over the beauty. The zipper on the inside, butter, just like butter. And it is just beautiful. Inside the pocket, there is a care card for the Aspinall of London for this type of uh, leather. There is no back pocket. It's just, just flat. The only pocket is this one right here. None in the front, but the one on the, on the back is there. But watch this, because when you're getting in and out of a, a handbag like this, it pulls. It has little gussets to make it easier to get your hand in. So you can actually like get your stuff in there. Is that not amazing? Uh, so it pulls open. So as long as you can smoosh it back together, I mean, you can pack this baby and there she goes, just like that. I'm gonna give you guys a measurement of this bag because she does pack a punch for a smaller bag. She is six and a half inches high. Her base is three inches in in width and her length is eight inches her handle drop is where are we at right there about let me get it down here about three and a half inches for that the hand drop i can easily put my arm through it and carry it like on the crook of my arm you know and flex a little bit or just hold it by hand and down at my side but with this strap I can easily it's non-adjustable because of the chain strap here if you get the larger um, Mayfair it does come with a leather strap that is adjustable so there's four sizes there's this size which is the midi there's the large there is the mini and then there is the nano so you've got four sizes to choose from and i thought this one was just perfect for me let's see if i go crossbody how she goes oh she's nice crossbody too she hits just at that sweet spot not that i would carry this bag crossbody i don't i think she's just too beautiful of a bag to go crossbody 
she would strictly be like a, a shoulder carry for me for hand or crook of the arm for this bag because she's just so darn beautiful i'm surprised i'm not crying right now showing you this but she is just so dang darn cute and then i've got that little the little nano one too i should have brought it over here to show you guys the nano next to it hold please i'll grab it i have it right here hold 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 so you can see the sizes next to each other because they are just look at this this one is in the bordeaux it is the same cute little bag look at that oh <gasps> I'm in awe. I am just in awe. So anyway, I had to come out and I had to share with you this Mayfair, Midi Mayfair in the Cherry Ombre. My, I, I, really, I don't have words for her. I really don't have words for her. Am I ever without words? No, but I am speechless for this bag. She is just so dang lovely. I just, nothing else I can say about it. I say if you guys are interested or you're wanting to check out Aspinall, this is a great bag to go check out. And um, like I said, I have two more coming, which will be part of my collab that I have going on next week. But I had to come out and share this with you guys. Is she not amazing? <sighs> All right, guys, I will see you in my next video for now. Have a wonderful Saturday, a great weekend. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.